Gemini, you need to know this right now for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. Show me. Happy birthday, Gemini. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Gemini, these are your cards, honey. Gemini, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Gemini. Clarify the sun for Gemini. Clarify the sun for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a ten, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Gemini, you can tell me that something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. Now, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and it's a burden to you. Something that you're finding out. However, you can tell me that you're happy that you're able to release a burden now. We'll see. Gemini, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the Queen of Swords. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So, Gemini, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Swords 
for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Someone's apologizing here and you guys are reuniting. And now you can finally release this burden. You're happy. You can tell me that be overindulging trying to numb out because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with someone from their past or it was something from the past being brought back up here you could also tell me that you're getting your wish because there's some news about someone expecting here hmm gemini you have the page of wands aries leora sag this is news or a message about a passionate creative new endeavor now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using a male phallic to be intimate. So these are passionate messages or news of passion. So Gemini, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Okay. Who is that? <laughs> Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Gemini, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Gemini, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now Gemini, listen, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument here. You know, and it very well could be that someone's coming in to set the record straight and apologize because they're wanting to work things out here. You know, someone could be apologizing and still being met with some type of heated discussion or argument because they still have unanswered questions here. Huh. Gemini, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Gemini, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups. For Gemini, clarify the three of cups. 
for Gemini, clearing for the Three of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Gemini, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now, Gemini, you really could be receiving some type of blessing here, you know, for your birthday, just cause to celebrate, party over here. <laughs> you can tell me that you guys are reuniting and starting new. Could also tell me that you guys have just cause to celebrate because in tarot, this brand new blessing, this Ace of Cups, could be a baby. Or it could be speaking of children. I don't know you're happy, happy about something over here. Hmm. Gemini, you have the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Gemini, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Five of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Five of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Gemini, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. And Gemini, you can tell me there was some type of disappointment here and maybe you blocked them. Maybe it could have been just some type of disappointment here and you were indecisive about making a choice. Hmm. <clears throat> but I feel like we work things out. I feel like we work things out here because we're finally... Re able to release a burden and work things out here but i feel like it could have been some type of argument or some type of um disappointment here okay some type of issue i feel like it has to do with you making a choice hmm. i'm gonna take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner gemini hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You inspire me to do better. You inspire me to do better. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Gemini. And it says, just being near you is intoxicating. Just being near you is intoxicating. <sighs> Gemini, you need to know this right now for May the 27th through May the 28th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.